Hey yo bros, welcome back to a brand new video on High Energy Heroes. In this video, I will guide you through all the settings by translating them from Chinese to English. So let's dive right into it. Starting with the basic settings. Automatic fire. Just by aiming at any enemy, it will automatically fire without needing to press the fire button. Next is one click to open scope and fire, which is especially useful if you're playing with two fingers. While you shoot, the scope will be automatically activated together. Moving on, we have the single shot sniper fire mode. Press to fire or press and release to fire. The semi-automatic shotgun open mode works the same way. Then there's open camera mode, where it depends on you whether you need your ATS to be hold, tap, or tap and hold together. Next up are the gyroscope options, which give you the choice between while firing scope only and full gyroscope. If you're a left-handed player, don't forget to turn on the left hand shooting button option. Those are all the basic settings. Now, let's dive into the advanced settings. Aim assist, you can keep it turned on depending on your preference. There's also the third-person perspective view, which you can set to 100% for wider area coverage. Moving further, we have skill zoom field of view and skill screen vibration effect. Now, let's talk about the button rotation angle, where you can customize the main shooting button to rotate while shooting. This is especially helpful if you're playing with two fingers. Next is auto assist, where you can customize automatic weapon switching. When they run out of ammo and continuous throwing of arc star grenades, molotov, etc. Then, there's root guidance displayed outside the signal. Now on to convenient operation, where you can customize tactical and ultimate skills. Moving on to how to play settings. Here you can customize settings related to the joystick, joystick trigger automatic running, joystick display position, and even turn on the crouch button to swipe up and jump. We can't forget about wall jump. It's easier in high energy heroes compared to Apex Legends Mobile. Turn this setting on, come near a wall or any object, sprint while facing your character to wall jump, and hold the jump button to quickly wall jump. Remember don't tap the jump button. You will need to hold the jump button. Back to button rotation angle, where you can adjust the crouch button and jump button to rotate the screen as you like. Now, let's move on to zip line options. Just turn these settings on and customize them to your liking. The pickup tab lets you choose whether to pick up items automatically or manually and select how many medicines, power batteries, and almost to be picked up. In combat information, you can turn on options like hit, show damage numbers, and display enemy status bar. Moving on to controls HUD settings, tap on the first layout. If you're looking for a quick three finger or four finger setup, select it here. Choose if you want three fingers layout or four. It will customize automatically. There's a separate layout for TDM matches as well. If you want the classic match HUD tap here, and it will copy your classic HUD layout. Next up is sensitivity settings, which you can customize to your liking. In graphic settings, Focus on setting the FPS to extremely high for that smooth gameplay. The rest can be customized as you prefer. Lastly, don't forget to go through sound effects and privacy settings. Now for those of you who found the video a bit challenging to understand, I'll showcase all the settings translated from Chinese to English, making it easier to follow along.
And that wraps up our guide to settings and sensitivity. Now enjoy this Octane aka Raymond gameplay and don't forget to subscribe for more videos related to high energy heroes. Thanks for watching. Tiltal 准备好释放了天子弹谁来帮帮我正在运送支援舱再装子弹
猎物的踪迹。准备弹跳升空。换刀换弹，让投掷破片受雷。警告，信号区正在移动。不得不说，你很有眼光。